How's it going guys, it's Josh here, welcome back to another video. Now it's 2018 so it's about time I got hold of a few more cheap RGB mechanical keyboards to show you. And I've got one here today, it's from Motospeed and it's called the CK101. It's definitely nearing the lowest end of the scale when it comes to budget RGB keyboards, so it should be pretty affordable for gamers out there who might be looking for their first mechanical keyboard. As always, thanks to Gearbest for sending this one out to me to check out, let's start the review. So I actually very much like the design they've used here. It's a little bit different from your standard budget mechanical keyboard. They all tend to have very similar frames and the same flip out feet at the back, but this one actually has a cool little cylindrical section. It kind of reminds me of the wireless Apple keyboards. It doesn't really serve any special purpose apart from looking kind of cool, although it does elevate the typing angle as there's no retractable feet at the back. This was maybe to save money, but it actually results in a very stable typing experience. It's better than having super flimsy feet that you might accidentally snap off. The rear section does also house the micro USB port, which means that we get a detachable cable. The one included is braided despite not being the thickest. I always like detachable cables because then if it breaks you can replace it, or if you need a longer one you can swap it for a longer one. It just gives you a few different options. I will just mention the rear section does look a bit ugly, you can see the plastic mould lines, it looks a bit cheap. Although to be fair you don't often see it anyway. The rest of the keyboard actually looks pretty good, it is mostly plastic although the top plate is aluminium and we do get a hint of silver on those cylindrical pieces. It's a very minimal design around the edges, it kind of just cuts straight off and it's a nice contrast from the curves that we see at the back. It is 10 keyless so we're missing the numpad but it does take up a lot less space on your desk compared to a full size board and that's a plus point for people with smaller desks. Colour wise it's available in black or white although the white model is actually mostly silver apart from the keycaps which are white. Both boards are available with blue or red switches. Talking of the switches, it uses our T-Moves like a lot of budget mechanical keyboards. I've said before, they're probably one of my favourite switches. The blues are extremely satisfying to type on, and you really don't need to feel like you're missing out on Cherry MX switches. Most people will be very happy with these. That's all there really is to say, here's what they sound like. Now if you're looking for a cheap mechanical keyboard, you're almost guaranteed to get this rather stylized gamer font. Some people love it, some people hate it, but the keycaps themselves are actually pretty decent. They are double shot ABS, so they're durable, and it means the text won't rub off. Now I know what you all want to see, the RGB lights. Let's check them out. So brightness, you control that with FN and the up and down arrow keys. It's not the brightest ever, the LEDs are surface mounted behind the switches rather than on them, but it's still totally fine and if you like most gamers and sit in complete darkness, it looks great. So the lighting effects are fairly simple to use, it's basically FN and the insert key to switch between the effects. Here they are. If you fancy changing the colour, you can do that on most of the effects by hitting FN and the delete key. There's seven to choose from and some effects have rainbow variants which actually look awesome. On some keyboards the rainbow effects look very choppy, but on this one they're extremely smooth. Quite a few of the lighting effects let you change the speed and flow direction, you can do that with FN and the plus minus keys, and FN and the left and right arrow keys. White is one of the seven available backlight colours, although don't buy this keyboard for the white backlighting as it's not really white at all, it's got a pretty strong purple tinge to it. FN and Keys 1-5 to has presets to illuminate particular keys for popular games, or you can set your own by entering into the custom profiles. You do that by hitting FN and Keys 6-0 to zero, and then FN plus the home key. You're then free to press individual keys to turn them into the desired colour, and once you're done, you just hit FN plus home again. So yeah, it is customizable. What's the verdict then? Well, it's probably one of the cheapest RGB mechanical keyboards you'll find, and you're getting a good deal. The typing experience is very nice, and the lighting effects are impressive, especially the rainbow ones, they look really good. While the build materials are probably not the most premium feeling, and you can tell where they've saved money, the design itself is minimal, and is a little bit different from the hundreds of keyboards out there that all look the same. If you're looking for your first RGB mechanical keyboard, and don't want to spend $100, check this one out. I'll leave the links in the description, thanks for watching today guys, subscribe for more and I'll catch you all in the next one.